So we had some elections over the weekend. We had Super Saturday, as they call it, with a, a few states. And then also on the Democratic side, we had one on Sunday. Uh, and here's what went down. Now, on the Republican side, the Trumpster took a, a minor blow. I think many outlets are blowing it out of proportion and they're acting like it's a major blow. To me, I see it as a minor blow. He won Louisiana and he won Kentucky, but he won those not by as much as expected. So when you went to the polling data and you gathered all the information, it appeared like those were going to be absolute runaways and it wasn't even going to be close and Trump was going to dominate. But that's actually not true. He won by much smaller margins than anticipated. And people are looking at that and going, oh, maybe this is a sign of things to come in the future. Now, Ted Cruz won Kansas. Uh, I had predicted Cruz winning Kansas. What I did not predict, this is the, the one state I got wrong over the weekend, is Ted Cruz randomly picking off Maine. That was totally unexpected. Now, granted, we didn't have much information on Maine because it's a caucus state and those have had little to no information uh, across the board. But when you read all the different articles as to the sentiment there and the few polls that they did, the, the small sample sizes, you got the sense that, and given the makeup of the state and where it is, you got the sense that that's going to be Donald Trump and it's going to be Trump in a landslide. But that wasn't the case. Again, it was Ted Cruz randomly picked off Maine. So Donald Trump won two states. Ted Cruz won two states. That certainly does make it so that he's the only other uh, viable candidate in the race. The Marco bot is totally done. I mean, he's had so many states where he comes in third, a bunch of states where he comes in fourth. And the only states where he won, he won in Minnesota. And he also won uh, the Puerto Rico primary. But outside of that, I mean, he's got absolutely no chance in my mind. Now, Ted Cruz, people are trying to say like, oh, he's the GOP's last hope. Number one, it, he's probably the one guy who would be unequivocally worse than Donald Trump. So I don't know why anybody would root for that. But number two, not really, <laughs> because if you know about the demographics and the polling data that we have right now and you look at the path moving forward, Ted Cruz really only has a shot in super duper evangelical states. He doesn't have appeal beyond that. So when you look at Donald Trump, he actually has appeal, believe it or not, among moderates. He has appeal among independents. He actually has brought new voters into the Republican process. So, and by the way, these, uh, the ones we had over the weekend, the elections, they were closed primaries and caucuses, which means you can't have people go who are independents. You can't have people switch over who are Democrats. And as we've discussed on air before, Donald Trump is even picking off blue collar Democrats who are like union guys who, uh, you know, were for the Democratic Party because at least the Democratic Party would say, hey, I'm for the, the worker. But they hear Donald Trump say some of the pseudo-populist things in the debates. I don't think he really believes them, but he says them. So he's getting a lot of crossover votes, too. So moving forward, Cruz's path is very difficult, and uh, Trump has already won way more states than him. And now the delegate count is a little different. Cruz is not that far behind in delegate count. But again, if you had to... If I had to give you a prediction moving forward as to what Donald Trump is, I had it at 85% that he's going to win the nomination. As of today, I'm still about 85% that he's going to win the nomination, or, you know, perhaps I drop it to still 80% that he's going to win the nomination, which means only 20% somebody else does. But there's another fascinating aspect now to the conversation, which is the Republican establishment is going balls to the wall against Trump. I mean, they're going all in to the point where Mitt Romney gave a speech last week where he just savaged Trump. He spoke about how this guy doesn't know anything about business, his, his companies went bankrupt four times, hey, whatever happened to Trump steaks, whatever happened to Trump vodka, this guy's a con man. I mean, he just went in. So what you should take away from that, because there's no other possible explanation for this, is Romney is gunning for a potential brokered convention. So in other words, if Donald Trump doesn't get the required amount of delegates to be the nominee, so he might win a plurality, he might be number one in delegate count, but if he doesn't reach that magic number, which I believe is 1,278, but I, I could be a little bit off there. If he doesn't reach that magic delegate number, 
well, then you can have a brokered convention and Romney can try to swoop in and grab it. Now, Romney's been doing a media tour. There's no other reason why he would do a media tour. He even said to CNN, that's a, quote, realistic scenario. So obviously he's gunning for that. Uh, he was caught, uh, The Hill had an article about how him and Paul Ryan were at dinner and Romney was caught whispering to Ryan. So they're at the, they're at, the, at dinner, you know, some ritzy place in Washington, I'm sure. And Trump's like, mm -hmm, let me tell you a little something. And he starts whispering to him over the table. I mean, what, what else could it be? It's clear, it's clear that uh, he's gunning for that. Now, whether or not it'll actually happen is a different question, because perhaps Trump does get the number of delegates required, and he's just the nominee. Uh, but, man, it's getting weird. And what would happen to the Republican Party if Mitt Romney tried to snatch the victory from Donald Trump? <sighs> man, civil war is not the word. I mean, it, it already looks like the GOP is in civil war, because you have the Trump wing versus everybody else. But if Romney snatches victory from Trump, oh, the party is just going to be in shambles. And believe you me, Donald Trump would run a, a third party candidacy. He would run as an independent if Romney were to do that, if the Republicans were to fuck him like that. So then that would hand the election over to the Democrat if that were to happen. Oh, uh, there's so many potential uh, scenarios moving forward. Every single one of them is fascinating, but the main thing to take away from the elections over the weekend is uh, Donald Trump is still, uh, is still has a commanding position and a commanding lead, but he showed a little bit of weakness because his margins of victory were supposed to be gigantic in the states that he won. They really weren't that gigantic. You gotta call it what it is. He, he had like 20 point leads and they shrunk to five point victories more or less. So that could be a sign moving forward and Cruz is creeping up a little bit on the delegate count. So Donald Trump, I still have him at about 85%, maybe an 80% chance to be the nominee, but it does get really, really fascinating going forward.